Lisa Westcott's great um, achievement, I think, was the, the journey of Jean Valjean. And somehow she manages to pull off this extraordinary journey for Hugh where, where you really feel that he's lived a very long and tiring life. The first time we see him, he's a convict and in a very bad state. His head's been scarred for many years, so it's just been hacked off by jailers. He's got this very long, straggly beard, which we um, extended. We just made him very, very decrepit and tired and filthy. Contact lens is made to make him look very sore in the eyes. And then we had some teeth made, some slips that went over his own teeth. Very, very thin, they just clipped in. Tom was so, so worried about teeth, uh, and quite rightly, because, um, you know, you've got a big close-up on an artist, um, and they're holding a note, and you're seeing right into their mouth. How can you make a beautiful woman not look beautiful? It's kind of tricky, isn't it? Annie Hathaway had the idea that she wanted to get her hair cut for real <laughs> in the lovely lady scene, which I was amazed at, and we tried, you know, we even tried to talk her out of it. So there's Anne with her hair now cut or chopped off when she first becomes a prostitute, looking very, very sad and tragic. We had to somehow get rid of her teeth. A lot of people had to wear plastic molds on top of their teeth that had been painted. I was one of the lucky ones. I didn't have to wear it. I was just able to paint my own teeth. It did look great on camera. It looked like a bloody mess. My, my template, really, for the whores was a very, very crude makeup that's been on for a long time. You know, that kind of really kind of all running into each other, you know, that really smear. I said to the girls, just go for that kind of look. So it's really, really lumpy and bumpy, and it's got to really tell the story. It's got to be brutal. Everybody raise your glass. The Tenardier is a kind of a bit of a light spot, a bit of comedy relief, really, so we have a bit of fun with them. They're basically con artists, and every time you see them in every situation, through the years, through the, through the story, they look different, um, in, in a different disguise. Sasha really fancied having a gold tooth, so we ended up... Uh, the, the final um, configuration of his gold tooth was this little fella, and really earned its living. This wig... Um, has got black roots and it's all been um, had different colours of, of blonde in it and been dipped in tea and coffee and all sorts of stuff like that to give it some kind of brassiness and lots of character. The two of them together, it ju they just looked divine. The question you have to ask yourself, or I have to ask myself, which I do continually, and it's just very, very simple, is can you believe it?